Hello, I am in Savannah today. I'm doing a showing for an out-of-state buyer and um, they're looking at a house that I'm in right now. It's being sold fully furnished and they're like, wow, that's a great deal. And it can be a great deal. That can be very easy for an out-of-state buyer. So I'm excited for them. But at the same time, I'm seeing some issues that I just want to point out as a property manager, what not to do. Because, you know, three, four or five years ago, you could put anything up on Airbnb, the Airbnb is a short term rental, it's going to rent. But nowadays you need to have some nice furniture and some nice decor and you know, something from yard sales is not going to work. So please do not do that. So the first thing I want to point out to you guys is this right here. This is, it appears that they've just thrown some furniture together. We have a bar stool and then we have a table, some kind of a bar table. It appears that they're trying to make it appear like I keep saying the word up here. <laughs> it, it's like they think it's a desk, but this isn't a desk. Like I work at a desk and that looks very uncomfortable. Okay. It doesn't match. And then obviously it's very well used, you know, so if we look around the furniture, um, nothing matches. It's all kind of thrown together and it just has that feel of I bought everything at a yard sale or on Facebook marketplace. And you don't want to do that. Um, Guests have a higher expectation now. There's a lot of competition. You need to keep up with the market and I do not recommend this. This is my other pet peeve. We will uh, tell owners, and I've had this before, you have to have a dresser in every room. The guest has to have a place to put clothes and then they'll find something very inexpensive and they'll call it a dresser. This is not a dresser, okay? I don't know about you, but I've tried keeping things in these terrible little bins and it, it doesn't count. It's not a dresser. 